in this age of COVID-19, in some countries, it's still in lockdown mode. In the U.S., we're, we're, we're kind of free, but they're warning us if we don't watch out. This Delta variant is going to come by and kick us in between the legs. We, we got to work together. We, we got to use your creativity, my creativity, everybody's creativity, and put together a plan so that we can grow together creatively in the way of allowing businesses and to allow other artists to be present in their place, which could be 5, 10, 15, 25, 30 years later. Creativity is an addiction. We will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut means that we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I felt in the heart this time last spring that the old apple tree in the front of the forest wouldn't make it through another winter. I've spent so much time walking beside it, wondering if even I had enough life in me to watch another grow from just a seed. The apple tree has had its good and bad fruit-filled seasons. I usually leave the fruit on the limbs, and the reason why is because of the squirrels and the migrating birds, so they can have dessert during the hot summer days or as the seasons are starting to change. To see the tree in full bloom during a 29-degree morning almost seems kind of scary because I'm not seeing any frost to go with the petals. The sturdy old tree stood there looking at me, and our relationship has become something even more than just a seedling to this present day. You see, in 1996, its growth inspired me to plant 1,700 white pines, elms, oaks, and others on the very land that is full of life today. Whereas in 1992, when I arrived, it just seemed like another place to be built upon. As spring begins to age, even more of my forest friends begin to appear. It's difficult not to think about their presence and distance and where we will grow in the way of someone else receiving the messages. Let there always be peace and protection, for this forest has always shared it with us. Let there always be peace and protection. Plant that seed inside your mind, body, and soul. And see how far you will allow yourself to grow. Let there always be peace and protection. What amazes me about the everyday wandering journey is that that's exactly what we seem to be doing. Wandering. We've made it this far through a pandemic. And if you spot in the eye of a passerby a thought, they might tell you, it was nothing. Okay, so I got COVID. Okay, I was sick for eight days. It's almost as if we didn't hear the truer calling of what came into the force within each of us. See, we're all a walking embodiment of energy. And when we're changed by way of challenge, if we don't pay attention to what we're supposed to learn, then the limbs and the leaves on the trees will begin to tumble. But will you find a poet in a forest that'll come along to replenish the soil? It's a deep thought. And it's all connected to peace and protection. What are your daily visions? What are your daily accomplishments? See, I have several different mantras that I tap into every day. Share your story or someone will write it for you. Winning is a choice. Peace and protection. Being mindful and grateful of this present place called now. I'm always reminding myself of who and what I am in this place of where I am. And so I share that with you and to try to start off with a seedling that is planted in the soil of your mind, body, and soul. The peace and the protection. Is it you that you're trying to find peace for? Is it someone else that you're trying to provide protection for? Where is your peace and protection? They go hand in hand. And when you let them work together, they grow together. And from those moments of togetherness, then you're grateful in this moment of what is about to become your now. I know it's so far over our heads, but it's helping people understand that where they are is okay. Where you want to be is fine. But as much as you try to predict where you think you should be, there's a lot of things that are going to stand in your way. I think one of the greatest quotes I ever heard from Rush Limbaugh was he said, 100,000 people can try out for a position in baseball, but only three will make it. 
kind of crazy. When I first heard that, I thought, why, how? Because a lot of people get in the way of dreams. Peace and protection. Put those first, then watch yourself grow. I'm Errol. These aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest. <laughs>